Hello guys, we're back. I have such a fun idea for nail art. I can't wait to share it. Virus nails. Yes, you heard me, virus nails. There's been so much sick, sickness and coronavirus out there and I thought I'm gonna make virus nails. And I'm gonna paint these nails with my green, it goes dark green to like a light yellowy green. And this is from Emily, TC, sorry, Emily, Emily, and it's TC11. So I'm going to go ahead and paint these in Cure It. And then we'll meet back here and go over what we're going to do next. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, here we go. We are doing our <clears throat> painting. I'm going to do my little viruses. Now I took some yellow and some green and I kind of just mixed a little bit together. I don't want them to be any more one color or the other. I would like more yellow, I think. And I just want to get my round circle going here. I always hate the first one. The first couple I do, they don't sit properly on here. There. There's our first one. Second one. Goodness, excuse me, I just had an apple. <laughs> so I'm just putting my dots on there. So different sizes, different places. And really, just letting letting my imagination just kind of go with it see now this one I'm gonna have problems with just let me take this one off the reason why is because I'm having more circles come out from it so I'll have to show you more about that when we get to that point so you you do have to kind of think it out a little You don't want to have, plus I have another idea too for something else I want to kind of add. <clears throat> Next. Hmm. So I just want to get the circles down. And I think I'll do one over here this time. Yeah. 
and maybe a bigger one here. Sometimes um, I notice my sponge here gets really fussy. And it depends on the type of nail you're doing it on too, the shape, whether it wants to go full circle or not. I just keep playing with it until I finally get what I kind of want. Just gotta kind of play. Hmm. Let's do a big one up here. And of course it is a virus, so it's not like <laughs> they have to be perfect, but you, you kind of want to have the gist that you could say, oh look, that's what that is, so. I'm thinking about maybe stamping some letters on to say virus, so. So it'll be kind of, I don't know, I want it to be kind of fun too. It's not like I'm making it to be like, oh, death. You know what I mean? No. It's fun. Just a funny little one. This big one here, and then maybe a small one right here on the corner. There. I like to try to at least get two on. My nails are usually long enough that it can at least fit two on. But if I do do one, I'll make sure it's a fairly big one just to. But I like it to look more random, like you're looking through a microscope rather than. That's what I do. So, okay, <clears throat> I have to let that dry really well, and we'll be back for the next step. Okay, so now we're going to put our little bits and bobs on our virus. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the yellow and dot it. Oh, just if I can get enough. And just dot it around the little virus itself. I don't know why they're not dotting very well. I think I need some more paint there. And then I'm just going to take my little brush. just want to clean it. I had some black on there a few minutes ago, so. Okay, I want to get some of that yellow. Um, actually, I think I want a mixture of the green and yellow. Just bring it down into the virus there. I also want to get a couple of dots of green. And do the same thing with that. Oh, more yellow than green, I think. So that's why I'm kind of going for the yellow. So something like that. So it looks like a little virus. <laughs> Now, I'm going to do the same thing on the next one. Again, the yellow. My yellow does not want to sit properly. There we go. Okay. And maybe while I'm here, I'll do the green, too. And I'm just going to then go in with my green and yellow. Bring it down into our virus.
There we go, like that. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing this all the way along, and then I'll meet you back here for the next step. Okay, what I'm just doing now is I'm adding some little white bits to the virus, like that. So I have done that along. And so I'm just letting everything dry really well right now. And what I want to do after this point is do a top coat. I'm not done though. What I'd like to do is in certain spots on each hand, I want to spell the word virus. So I have my plate here. And I think because of the colors we got going here, I think I want to do it in white lettering. So, because I don't think yellow will show up enough, and I think the white might work better. So I'm going to, I'm just going to clean up my area here so I can get ready for stamping. And let all this dry, top coat, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just going to bring in a little bit closer here. What I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm putting the letters on my nails. So I want to do the V first. I've already done the other side. So I'm taking my letter, cleaning up around it, and then I'm just putting it right in the middle. I decided to do it in white so it would kind of show up a little good. It would show up really good on um, the green. Now I need my eye. These letters are super cool. I like these ones. Okay, now I need the R. Now I need the U, so I gotta clean up a little bit. Okay, the U. My U. And of course, the last one, my S. All right. And there's my S. Okay. So now I'm going to let this dry really well. And then I'm going to put my top coat over it. And then we'll be done. So I'll let it dry. I'll put some top coat on and I'll get you some shots. And I will see you next time. Bye bye. Okay, and here are our virus nails. They actually look really cool. They're also thermal because they change color. So I'll try to get a I'll try to get the the change and I'll be back and show you. And there we go. There's our thermo change and I'm gonna go ahead and take some pictures and I will see you next time bye bye